what's up ninjas what's up what's up you know what today is right it's freaky friday because there's always something <laughs> dust freaky going on on friday and the ninja mower is back at it again with being a little freaky ninja so what it's doing now is it's cutting fine and it's not leaking oil anymore but it's puttering especially when you first started and then kind of when you run it after a little while it seems to do just fine so i'm going to start it here in a second for you guys but i don't know if it'll do it this time just because i just finished using it and i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the commercial here that i'm mowing airport parking lot but so which brings me to my attention of what it could be so uh, for one it could be bad gas right i could have gotten some bad fuel but here's the key that i haven't done yet and it's time for it so make sure you guys are changing your fuel filter because these things can get clogged up because the fuel we're using nowadays is really dirty you've got ethanol mixed in it and all kinds of things which brings me to my next topic what kind of fuel do you guys use in your mowers i need to top it off it's pretty much empty but this is the last yard of the day somebody asked me how many hours does this machine have and it's at 200 hours basically 198.4 so fuel filter i think changes every 100 hours or so so i'm a little past it obviously and so it's definitely due but also what kind of fuel do you use so i don't really try to be super picky or crazy i don't have time to shop around sometimes if i'm not in a rush i'll try to go to one of those gas stations where it, it has a hundred percent you know gasoline regular and doesn't have any mix of uh, ethanol but you know i know a lot of you ninjas are out there only filling up with 100 percent gasoline and no ethanol and that's okay if you're planning on using a bunch of mowers and, and and i mean keeping them for years and years and years but i never really worried about it too much because i never really keep a mower longer than about two three years in about two three years any mower any new mower should do just fine and then at that point you probably would need to worry about what you're doing but i end up trading them anyway so my point is i end up just using regular ethanol and all that but i know that fuel filter is probably filthy i mean it is from the outside and i'm sure it is inside um so if you can get your regular 100 percent gasoline it's always recommended but i don't really have time yeah this thing's pretty filthy so we're going to be uh, purchasing one of these and changing them and i think it's about every hundred hours but you can also use a bunch of treatments i know a lot of you ninjas do that you know you use a bunch of treatments to treat your fuel so where it everything keeps everything clean on the inside and stuff but i don't really mess with those neither never really tried them i'm not saying they don't work i just never tried them and uh but yeah let's start her up and see if it'll do it now but it may not like i said because i seriously just turned it off and got done here there it is you hear that You can hear just by the muffler, of course. It's like a puttering. It's like a little puttering, you know. How's that go again? But uh, anyway, I uh, wanted to show you guys if that's something that you are experiencing at any point in time. The first thing that I would recommend, which is what I'm going to check myself here, is your fuel filter. Just make sure those get changed. And try to always go to one of those really known gas stations with a brand name. Don't ever go to one of those off-brand gas stations. And sometimes the off-brand gas stations are the ones that have the 100% uh, regular gas. 
but I, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that's what I've been doing today, mowing solo. I got everything done over here, I'll show you. Looks good. I ended up having to go back and forth, back and forth several times as you guys have seen by now. But that's because I was pushing a lot of that garbage. I always get a lot of garbage here just because it's so close to the road. And a lot of that garbage I push into the parking lot and then I pick it up because it's easier for me to pick it up in the parking lot. Sometimes I'm able to like even get it all in one spot. But anyway, there it is. It looks good. And everything is picked up. But yeah. Well, it's getting dark and it's kind of windy out here, but it feels good. I think the crazy hot temperature moments are gone, so that's good. And uh, I got a few yards left for tomorrow, nothing crazy. I want to say about three or four. Not a big deal. I'll go knock those out tomorrow morning and then uh, enjoy the rest of my Saturday and then, of course, chill on Sunday. Stay tuned. We're going to do some stuff tomorrow, maybe, and then definitely into Sunday. Hopefully. Don't hold me to it, but I'm planning on it. See this? I'm sick and tired of this faded crap. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed for a little bit of the footage and hopefully this has helped you if you're dealing with a mower of your own that's kind of puttering. Just make sure you're getting good gas and uh, check your fuel filters because those, uh, especially how greasy and, and dirty gasoline is nowadays, like I said, with all this ethanol stuff, those fuel filters, they get pretty nasty and can clog up. But uh, anyway, it needs a wash too. So that's something I'll probably do tomorrow after I finish those three, four yards. But it's windy out here. It's getting dark. I hope it's helped you ninjas. If that's something you're dealing with, check those things first before you freak out. Because sometimes when we hear the puttering, we instantly freak out. I know I have always in the past. <laughs> Sometimes check your throttle cable too. It could have been, it could be the throttle cable that's stretched out, right? Extended a little. So there is a screw down there in the bottom in the front. I'll show it to you, not right now, where you can just take a screwdriver and tighten it up a little. Um, but don't tighten it up too much because you'll, you know, your idle will be really high. So, all right. Well, man, just I hope that's helped you and uh hope you guys had a great friday i know i did i didn't really rush out of here out of the house this morning super early because i knew i didn't have too much going on today and then i have a little bit left tomorrow but uh it was a good week got everything gonna have everything done by tomorrow i say three four hours and uh stay tuned for this weekend so thanks for watching take care peace